this feels really good. <laughs> this feels. Do you have any idea? Oh, sorry. Yeah. The, the, the chair thing is a real thing. No, it's a real. The chair thing is the real. Pulling out Kelly's chair. I got warned by 12 people I had to pull out Kelly's chair. And they, I'm telling you, they are warning you for your own good. Because one of my dear friends one day came out here and did not pull out my chair. And now he is considered in the Twitter sphere and Instagram verse to be a monster. <laughs> I would naturally pull out the chair, but I was warned so many times I almost forgot to pull out the chair I, because I, it was like pull out the chair, pull out the chair, pull out the chair, pull out the chair, I, pull out the chair. Yeah, I, almost, I almost nudged your arm like I, you better pull I out the chair. I almost didn't have fun walking out because all I was thinking about was the chair. <laughs> and Regis is back, everybody. <laughs> This is something else that has to happen. It is Friday, October 7th, 2016. And guess who's here? Ashton Kutcher. Since, since you were here last, you've become a father not once, but once and a half times. Once and a half. Yes. yes. There's once a and baby nearly in twice. there, right? There's, yeah, we're cooking one. Uh, we're making people. We're just making people. Yeah. <laughs> It's really fun, the beginning part and the end yeah. part. It's all fun, just making people. So are you, so explain to me the uh, type of father you are. Are you like in the delivery room having helpful, like saying helpful things like you're having a contraction now, honey? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, the first one, I was basically a doula. Like yeah. I started like I was reading all the books and like going crazy and happiest parent on the blocking and like learning and what the, how many centimeters what all that stuff meant. I was like, well, you're at about two centimeters, honey. Like and I was like, I wasn't checking or anything, but I right. was like, you, you know, just tell. I was doing that. And the, don't don't push with your face. That's like a big thing. Yes, right? don't push with your face. But I try to stay upstairs because I don't want to go down. I don't want to. I don't want to. Good for you. Good for you. But we uh, no did the whole thing. This one I've got no idea. It's number two. I'm just running around with Wyatt all day long, and yeah. so I haven't looked at the book. I'm, I haven't even like refreshed. So Wyatt is a girl. You have your daughter. We have our daughter Wyatt. And the second baby is a. Do we know? Or it's you a little saying? ombre. An ombre. Yeah, we got oh a little ombre God. on the way. Little little man, little man. Yep. You we know, saw the ultrasound. There was a third. You saw the thing. Third yeah. system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say, and this is again because we uh, we uh, were always we were surprised with that. We didn't find out, but they say that when the sonographer is that what they're called, sonographer, or is that the court reporter? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the, the person like, doing the person that does the this person thing. That on does the imaging. Imaging. What is that combo right. thing like? Huh? Sonogram person. The sonogram. Is that what it's called? The son is that the technical term? Are they term? called sonogrammers? Sonogram Guys, somebody here knows. Somebody here is one of them. Sonotab? Tech. Ultrasound tech. The Stop ultrasound tech. Stop yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, anyway, it's an ultrasound tech. So, so I have balcony ears. They right say here. that when you, uh, when they say to you, do you want to know? That means I've been told that they're seeing the. Oh. Yeah. So if they don't say, do you want to know, they're yeah, not seeing they're the... They're not really seeing it. And then they'll be like, so did you guys discuss if you want to find out or anything like that? But it's like when they see it, sometimes the impulse is to say, so do you want to know? Because they're looking at a wow. wiener. <laughs> Which is, is that the, the clinical medical term the wiener, technical the, the term the from the ultrasound technician. Oh, from the sonographer. Everybody knows. The My, from the court sonographer. <laughs> <laughs> we, so we found out really early. We did like the blood test. You did. And, like, so yeah, so we knew like instantly. Like we wanted to know as far in advance as we possibly could. But then when we finally had the ultrasound tech do the reading thing, mm -hmm. we got the little picture and we posted. We have like a little like private social media thing that's just for our family. Just for families. And, and we posted it up. Up there and my grandmother posts oh well you look at that he's got a boner and I, like for me that was traumatizing like the fact that my grandmother said that word to me I was like I didn't she's not supposed to even know that word and now she's saying it on social media the world with the world is going to hell. well the Webster's dictionary has added all sorts of words <laughs> they really have but that's good for you good for you and good for Graham uh, I'm proud that she knows we're, that we're word really excited. and for all of you grands at home for all of you grands at home confused and you don't know what that word is, just look it up. I'm sure it's in the dictionary. Don't Google it. Don't. Yeah, don't. Do not Google it.
This is going to lead to bad things. The, the dictionary, get the paper one. There's no pictures in that. Did you, uh, do you have a name picked out or? Yeah, oh yeah, we got, we're dialed. Is it a private name? Yeah, it's private name, dialed, okay. dialed in. Yeah, dialed that's in. the one thing that we're like, that's like, that's like, that's Locked home down. base. Yeah, because otherwise people start offering you their opinions about the name. You don't want everybody else's opinion on the name. I already know that you don't like my name and you don't even know that you don't like my name, <laughs> but you don't like my name. I don't like your name? I'm, or I'm fairly talking certain. I love your name. You don't know? No, the name of the kid. Oh, the name of the kid. No, I'm, I'm, I love the name of the kid, whatever the name of the kid is. Thank you. At first I thought you said dialed in, and I was like, I, I want don't like know a deal like. right now. <laughs> I'm just happy it's not dialed in, because that sounded like a tough... Tough wanna, one to pull I'll off. tell you, you and just you the name right okay. now. But the deal has to be once the name gets named, you got to just come on the, the, in the morning. You be, I love the name. The yeah. name is great. Like, right, like I'll come. Like, I, like one day I'll be sitting here. That's that will be so much power for me that I will sit here and just in the middle of everything go, mm, Rambo, <laughs> Rambo Kutcher. <laughs> That's the baby's name. She just. <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. But did, it. wait, did you hear it? I mean, did, did I, anybody what, your hear it? Your heart's flittering? I don't know. No, but I, didn't hear that I hope no, they didn't no hear it. No way people heard well, that. Well, you're mic'd. Killed our mics. You killed the mics? Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, my yeah. God. I thought it was over. That would have been like, I would have gotten name? murdered. The wife would have, like, taken me out. That's I would have gotten home. That's the real name? That's the name. That's a good name. That's it. That's, that's a really good name. <laughs> now we know and you don't. You know what it is? It sounds like, it sounds... You know, yeah. it sounds established. Yeah. That's yeah. a, it's almost like yeah. a grown so, up. So we practice and we do yeah. like president, da 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 da. Yeah, yes. Doctor, da 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 da. Right. Football star, da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, da 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 da. That's my, my husband used to do this all the time. Now batting, batting, batting. Number eight, eight, eight. Fucking, king, king. That's king. it, that's king. it. Suelos, suelos, suelos. Yeah. That's how we. And that's how you do it. Yeah. I get, I had a thing, I, I do a thing, Mila calls it name Tourette's. Yeah. Because when we get in the naming process, she hates every name I come up with. Yeah. And so I just start like rattling off, like anything I see, I'm like truck, camera kutcher. Right. You know, like lights kutcher, la luz, like I'll go yeah. multiple languages. Yeah. And she hates it, but eventually both times I've landed on the name with name Tourette's. That's it, but well, you know what? We, it's working we for say, you. We say, get your umbrellas out. Because we're about to have a brainstorm. Uh. And, and then, and so that means you can't make fun of what I'm about to say because we're just throwing out ideas. I want to be in your house when the brainstorms happen. Yeah. And this is a terrible segue, but st <laughs> speaking of storms, there is a horrible storm hitting Florida right now. Yes. And we have our very own Jim Dolan, uh, who is in Daytona Beach, Florida right, right now. And uh, let's throw to him and uh, check in. Jim, uh, how far are you from the eye of the storm? Well, still a little bit uh, south of us, uh, Kelly, but uh, we know that where it is, it has already uh, brought 100 mile an hour winds, for example, to Cape Canaveral. Uh, it is getting closer here. In fact, just a few minutes ago, just before we came on, I spoke with the uh, fire chief, uh, the police chief here. He said for the next four hours, they are not answering any 911 calls. You know that this area has been under mandatory evacuation right. now uh, for a full day. They told folks to get out of here. Those who didn't, those who didn't listen to those warnings and are in their homes, for the next four hours are on their own. The uh, uh, fire department, the police department, they can't risk the lives of their own members to go in and, and rescue folks. So for the next four hours during the muscle of this storm folks who decided to stay are kind of on their own the wind you can look back here the wind is really picking up now uh we, we i don't know how high the winds are here yet we have heard just south of here 100 mile an hour winds and wow. uh Kelly, just a, a few minutes ago they were telling me that one of the models for this storm actually has the closest landfall that's when the eye uh touches ground uh the closest it will come to a landfall is right here in daytona beach and that could be right in the next couple of hours or so and so when will they start to feel the effects of the storm north of florida i mean uh, georgia and the carolinas will will that be soon or is it going to whip around and go back and attack Florida again? 
Well, I am definitely not going to take uh, a meteorologist position here, but uh, uh, there are uh, several models, and one of them had, you know, the, the hurricanes move actually pretty slowly as they as they go up the coast or move through the water. So this one, uh, last I heard, was going about 13, 14 miles an hour. So if it keeps going north, it's still, you know, several hours away from northern Florida and as it moves into Georgia and South Carolina. But there is, uh, there are a couple of models actually that have it whipping around, coming back, hitting the Bahamas again, uh, also hitting uh, landfall in Florida uh, for, uh, it hasn't made landfall yet, but slamming into Florida uh, a second time. They still don't know exactly what this storm is going to do. Matthew has been unpredictable so far and continues to be. Okay, well, thank you so much, Jim Dolan, and uh, stay safe there, Jim, okay? Yeah. And we hope all the people that are down there are safe and, and, uh, and got out of there. Um, I love Jim Dolan, by the way. Isn't he a solid guy? God, he's, so, he's such a great reporter. Um, this is the kind of thing, though. They say that um, I was reading this story that women go into labor be sometimes during hurricanes. Like hurricanes will, what is that, like a tide thing? What is that, Gelman? You're, an, you're a doctor. <laughs> Stress, maybe? Oh, thank you. Dr. Uh, Gelman says stress. Yeah, it's probably, I always yeah, thought it was like sounds, a title thing. But women go into labor every day all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, like you think about the folks that are down there in that yeah. situation. I mean, things are always happening like that and you, people need support and they need help in whatever situation they're in. No, I'm just thinking about like, I'm afraid to like fly and be away from my wife while she's pregnant. Like, well, you like, can't be too afraid. Here you are. No, but like, <laughs> but we're we're not that close. We're not that close. But like, like you know, I mean, just to be in the middle of that and be like, yeah. oh, look, hey, we're having this wonderful thing happen in our life, except for it's you're underneath that. Yeah. Right? No. As soon as he said they're not taking nine one one calls, I went momentarily into labor, and then I remembered I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but it was like it, it, I had that sort of anxiety of about yeah. thinking about like yeah, pregnant ladies in the middle I of got, a storm. I have to say this, uh, this is probably messed up. I was, I, he's got perfect hair for that situation. He does, yeah. Like, I, like right. it's messed up that this is my like weird comedian point of view of this. But I was like thinking if Donald Trump was down there, oh, yeah. that would have been like 10 times more entertaining yeah. just to watch like yeah. what is actually underneath yeah. that thing. Yeah. It's funny you bring that up. I don't know if anybody was watching the weather coverage on CNN yesterday. Anybody? Okay. Yes. They have the most gorgeous reporter. I, and forgive me, I don't know her name. She was reporting on the beaches of Florida, and she had the most extraordinary hair, which blew perfectly to one side. Okay? <laughs> like in a Beyonce video. It was like this. Did it shift? And then it had a kick up <laughs> from the back. As if somebody was down there with like a downdraft fan, uh, like just blowing it up lightly. It's amazing. But it never crossed her face, and she was like, "We are here. This eye of storms." <laughs> but it was so. I said, and and she was talking about rain bands, and I could see rain falling all around her. But not on the hair. But not on her face. It, it is just, like Beyonce. It, it is like Beyonce. I went to that show where she has the rain yes, thing going on. It's amazing. It's open. Her hair is like the greatest thing on the planet. I mean, there's something else that's great in there, too. I know. But the hair is like, holy smokes, like you can't believe how magical it is. They say that as long as you watch a thousand hours of anything on YouTube, you could become it or do it. And I've been watching like hundreds of thousands of hours of Beyonce. You're and like the is, Malcolm Gladwell of Beyonce, of Beyonce. hair. I, and you, it's not, you, only Beyonce gets to be Beyonce. It's unbelievable. God, I'm jealous. God I'm a man and I'm Beyonce jealous. Beyonce more. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, so before we, do, do you want to get to the boards really quick? Okay, I guess I'll have to save the funky graffiti for another yeah, well, time, even though the audience deserves to see it, but maybe you don't. Maybe later if we have time. Maybe later. Okay. 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 We got a I great feel show. Like this is an all Ashton Kutcher show. I feel right? like it's my line. This is your. Sarah Paulson is here. Sarah, Sarah Paulson, Paulson, who I have a connection with. Yes, you have a connection with. Um, and now there's a newcomer on the scene you may have heard of. Her name is Laura, Laura Prepon. Prepon. Yeah. Here. I call her Pre. 
free? You and, call her free? And I'm very upset with her right now, so Why? I'm happy to see. Why are you upset with her? She just announced this engagement. I had to find out in the news, and oh. she's my friend. And it's like, it's weird like that. Yeah. It's like, and by the way, it's not just a random engagement. It's an engagement to another friend of mine. Oh, oh are you So that I'm double upset that neither of them told me. And I, had, yeah. I got off the plane in New York, and they're like, what? What? And it's weird, too, Be because honest. it's a homie that Mila and I and Laura, and we all used to hang out 20 years ago. And when Mila and I got engaged, Pri was like, what? This is crazy. You guys, it was like 20 years ago, and you were friends, and no one saw this coming, and now you're engaged, and I have to find out this way. They were friends 20 years oh. ago. They're all my friends, and everybody's hooking up, and it's weird. <laughs> I sure do like her fiance. He's great. He's a great actor. Yeah, good I saw dude. him. I saw him on Broadway, and I was like blown away by him. He's a solid chap. Solid chap. Okay, good. Because I like my pre-pawn being taken care of by a solid chap. Me too. We also have a performance by Kobe Calais. Do you have a connection to Kobe Calais? I have a connection to Colby Calais in so much as Bubbly is on my Chillax playlist. Oh, okay, I like that. Because it starts in yeah. your nose and goes to your toes. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that's so. That's a good Chillax song. It's really Chillax. Um. Anyway, this is an all Ashton Kutcher sh uh, show, like and we're going to talk about your Netflix series. Yes. Whether Grant. you like, whether you like it or not, we're, we're going to talk about, about the it. Rant. Okay. 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 And it's time for, oh wait, turn on your um, yeah, this, lightsaber. Yeah, wait, hold on, you show me the, okay, yeah. got it, ready? Yeah. yeah, it's time for takeoff travel trivia. <laughs> Uh, I mean, kind of you really, wow. when you uh, pop off, you pop off, babe. <laughs> oh, looky there, he doesn't have a... Yeah. Oh, um, hey, uh, let's acknowledge your our trivia dancer. Your Schwartz is bigger than my Schwartz. <laughs> I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Uh, that's Haley Miller from Monroe Township, New Jersey. <laughs> that Lori Schulweis, who is our beloved Shirley, um, by her own admission is pretty, um, shall we say, uh, how, oh, can I use the word clumsy? Yeah. yeah. Cl I don't like klutz, but clumsy. Like you, your center of gravity is off. Okay. So she will frequently um, uh, cause a calamity. She'll <laughs> spill hot coffee on you. She'll trip over the curling iron. It'll hit you in the head. She'll knock all of the That's makeup off fun. the table onto you. Um, so the fact that you broke your lightsaber and it hit her is like some sort of weird karmic <laughs> retribution. It's weird. I'm really, Take that, like, Shilly. Like, I feel like the kid on the playground that just, like, lost his toy. Like, no, I, was, like, so, I was so excited to hold this. And okay. I was like, I've recovered it, but mine doesn't work now. That's okay. We'll put the battery back in. Hey, hey on the phone is uh, Andrea play, right? uh, Har Harnady? Harnady? Harnady. Harnady. From Guilf uh, Guilford, Connecticut. Connecticut. And, and, uh, yeah, get up. Uh, yeah. Hello. How are you? I love you guys. Hey, we, we love, love you, too. We love you. Hey, uh, is it Andrea or Andrea? Either one, but Andrea is what most people call me. Andrea. Let's go with Andrea, then. What are you, yeah, go with that. What are you drinking? Because that looks delicious. Oh, it was a special drink we got. Uh, we went on a, to our anniversary in the uh, Hyatt in New York, and they gave us that drink while we were waiting to check in. I forgot the name of it. Uh, <gasps> you know what? The, those check-in drinks are the best. Oh, my God. Because they always hit you, like, yeah. sideways. And you get to the room, you're like, yeah, we're yeah, here. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> it's it was like, second, second honeymoon time. But you're, you're a big traveler, right? You had an interesting job? Yeah, I used to be a flight attendant, and uh, we love to travel. And I, I even got to go to Cuba when I was a flight attendant and all parts of Europe and the Caribbean. We okay. love it. And he used to fly for free, which was the nicest. That's the move. That's the move. It's like that, that Leo DiCaprio movie yes. where the pilots get to fly anywhere they want to go. Wherever they want. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, can I give a shout out to everybody in Florida? We lived in Boca Raton and Papano Beach for 15 years. Yes. And it's so scary. We <laughs> 
I know what it's like. I got up at 3 in the morning to watch the weather, so hopefully they're all safe. We're praying for them. Yeah, We're all yeah. praying for them. Yeah, we yeah. sure are. Now, listen, Andrea. Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. 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 I go by both. There's somebody that works here who's named Andrea, so I have systematically changed all of the Andreas in the world <laughs> into Andreas. Andreas. So it I'm sounds more European fine. that way. Yes. I, yeah, did, it sounds better. Did you hear the way I pronounced her last name? Harnady. <laughs> And how do you... Harnady, but that's close yeah. to it. <laughs> okay. Hey. Listen, Andrea Harnady. Carly we're going to send here is going to spin a wheel. Spin the wheel. Thank you. This is a great prize, the Galley Bay Resort and Spa in Antigua. Seven days and six nights in a deluxe beachfront room. That sounds deluxe. Oh, so cute. I'm Ooh. excited. Antigua. Listen to this. I mean, it's no Cuba, but. Yeah. No, I'll take it. Listen, it includes all. It's all inclusive. Yeah. That means. That's everything. That means you like, you like that robe? Put it in your suitcase. <laughs> and if they don't have one of those drinks when you get to the hotel, I'll send one for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ashton. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,300. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. Okay, thanks. I have the magical question. <laughs> On yesterday's show, what did Kelly say is the animal on the jar of mustard that she tasted? What was the jar of mustard? What animal? It was a lion. That's right! Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Galley Bay Resort and Spa in Antigua. An intimate hideaway for discerning travelers, the Galley Bay Resort and Spa is an all-inclusive beachfront resort situated on 56 acres of private paradise. Enjoy a three-quarter mile long stretch of beach on the sunset side of Antigua. A new fitness center, coffee shop, and rum bar, and much more. Your prize is valued at approximately $9,300. Congratulations. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. You We're made my day. We, uh, well, you made our day. Now you get to help make the day of a lucky member well, of our studio audience who will receive $500 in movie tickets from Fandango. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. Uh, 34 for how many years we've been married. Yeah. 34. Yeah. Still ahead on live, a performance by Colby Calais. From Orange is the New Black, Laura Prepon. Coming up next, Emmy winner Sarah Paulson. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, you have the chair for me, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Yeah, yeah. very good. You're very good. good. You're a quick study. Right. Yeah. Now, I understand you two have a very special connection. Yeah. Um, a, a punked connection, I believe. I you wanted do. me to punk my best friend, Amanda Pete. Do you not yes. remember this? I love Amanda Pete. We you wanted me to punk together. her. I, I wanted everybody to punk everyone. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Yeah, and I think we didn't do it because I think we were afraid she was going to have an actual heart attack. No, we really? didn't do it because you don't like me, and that's okay, <laughs> and we'll deal with it. No. No, that's no Amanda, she would have freaked out. But she do would, you remember yeah. what the stunt I think there was, was something about scaring her, like ringing her doorbell and saying something frightening, and, you know. Yeah. She's the kind of person that screams when you turn on the garbage disposal accidentally yeah she's like oh my god what was that and I'm like it's the garbage is I she think, that skittish I didn't want her to like yeah. break into her house yeah it was some like, kind of break somebody in, in there like, when she got home let's not do this yeah let's not do no it. no yeah. that's a bad idea they're all <laughs> they're all horrifying when you hear them pitch but when yeah. they happen they're funny I also yeah. didn't think I was going to be able to do it without laughing I thought I was going to totally <laughs> give it away um I have to congratulate you on I can't believe I'm about to say this you just won your first Emmy award well you've been nominated like six times right yeah and every you would have six Emmy Awards. <laughs> but every single time you were the predicted winner. Um, a couple of those times I was the predicted winner and I really did not win. So, yeah. <laughs> so 
I won this time, which was really great. It, it is it is better. The winning part is better than the. <laughs> but so wait, so are you just like chillax? You're like okay, another year, another Emmy no. nomination, not gonna no. happen. No, like right before the category, and they're about to say your name, your heart. No matter how much you sort of calmed down and thought whatever happens happens, you yeah. think oh god, if they say my name, I'm gonna have to get up there. I'm gonna have to talk, which is. I yeah. do think it's funny. There must be something like somebody has to get up and give the speech where they're where they stand up and go, guys. It really is so much better to win. It's not just an honor to be nominated. Right? No, that would be a would funny be very speech. Refreshing did you too. save, because you have to sort of like pre prepare the speech, did you save the old speeches from when you didn't win? <laughs> like, you should have done like a yeah. compilation. Like, this is like, my speech from this performance. Hits. This would have been from season one, season three, <laughs> season five. No, I didn't. But I did write one down, which I but didn't. But Marsha Clark was your date. She was. To the yeah. Emmys. I did. I brought her. And, and what was that like? Was she like, did she freak out? Uh, she was. I think she was very moved by the whole experience and very surprised by the warm reception she received. And obviously that was a new experience for her. I forgot, there were times during watching that series that I forgot I was watching a series mm -hmm. because I had watched the trial uh, so closely as did the, the rest of the country. And uh, when I was watching you, I, I forgot that you were you, and I thought you were Marsha Clark. So you I have really a confession, I am Marsha Clark. I knew it. <laughs> I, just, I knew it. I, I know. knew it. You were right. I have one question. Yeah. Did you get to meet Kato Kalin? Because that guy's amazing. No, but he tweeted something at me. Did he? Yeah. You're in communication yeah, with Kato I did Kalin? Not, I did not respond to Kato. Holy smokes. But, you know, I could. I wonder just, if he still has that great hair. I Talking think about it's the hair shorter, right. yeah. but still quite... Flowy. Ugh. Whatever. It has thing. movement. Like, it has movement. It has movement. Yeah. movement. <laughs> it's a little bit like, yeah, windblown. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, wait, we have to take a commercial break. So when we come we back, come back yeah, we are going to talk about the role that doesn't require a wig. Imagine First that. Time. No wig. Because it's worth Cause it. Because it's so important to celebrate so yourself. This yeah. movie, Blue Jay, yes. it, it, it's about a, a couple that reconnects after like 20, 20 years. 20 years. But the interesting thing about the movie that I read up on it was that there was no script for the movie. No, there was an outline that Mark Duplass came up with, with full scope of the story, but most of it is, is improvised. And we did it in seven days. Who's one of the creators of my very favorite show of all time, Togetherness, which yes. was canceled, and then I went into seclusion. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. If you've yeah, never, it was a really special it's show. It's a special I've, show yeah. with a great performance it. by Amanda Peet. Well, you can't see it anymore because well. it got canceled. <laughs> but anyway, but I you, always like hear about it, and then, but now isn't it like? Oh, can't we just DVR all? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. There? You can. I think so you can, I can watch it. Yeah. So was that your role without a wig? The first time I've done a, something without contacts, a wig, no Ever. mole. Ever? Well, in like ten years, probably. That's unbelievable. And did you freak out? Were you like, now what? Well, I did feel a little bit of that feeling of I've got nothing to hide behind. There's something, you wow. know, it's how sometimes you raw. wear glasses and a wig and, you know, have an accent and sometimes you feel a little more hidden and it's sort yeah, of... Yeah, you can sort of puppeteer the yeah, character. Yeah, you can, yeah. But when it's like a when little bit more... When it's just you and your face and your own hair... You feel like people can, feel a little you, exposed. People can yeah. see the scars. Yeah, you're just like, you're really looking at me. Nothing to hide behind. Scary. Well, That's I look amazing. forward to seeing this movie. It yeah, opens excited. in select theaters today, and it will be on demand on October 11th. Yes. Which I love. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you check out Sarah Paulson. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing this on here. And Mark Rebond. Yeah. 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 Enter live okay. time for takeoff web trivia. And you can win a kitchen appliance package from Cuisinart, valued at approximately $1,200. Log on to our website or go to our Facebook page to enter today. Her hit role on Orange is the New Black, also a little show called The 70s Show. I don't oh, know. yeah, I've heard of it. And now she stars with Emily Blunt in the highly anticipated film The Girl on the Train. Please welcome Laura Prepon. Thank you. I am so pissed at you. That's work. Look, it's pre, any, pre, look, this is unacceptable. This kind of thing I is know. unacceptable. But if anyone understands the private lives, oh, you I get do, it. You get it. I get it. 
but private lives include I friends. Get it. That's what happens. Like I shouldn't find out when I get off the I've plane. I've been in prison. I have limited communication to people. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, time out. I love the fact she's like Kutch and he's like Bree. <laughs> That's amazing. This is deep. This is really, really deep. No, so, dude, no, it's no. True. The amount of crap that you gave Mila and I. I know. Like, dude. oh yeah, 20 years, friends. <laughs> yeah, nothing going on. And then suddenly, but uh, and you and Ben Foster. I we've know, known dude. each other all together just as long. I know. It's, it is true. We've known each other for what, like 20 years, you said, right? Yeah, like 20 years, 20 years, like 19 years. Because we, we all started hanging out in 1998. So almost, yeah, and every Friday, oh, oh my every God. Friday after our taping, all of our friends would come hang out and whatever, and he was... He was there. Okay. There's the little girls in the audience that are like, what's 1998? I know. <laughs> it was the 1900s. It was yeah. so fun. Exactly. It was like we had horses and carriages. Everything was incredible. No then. cell phones. No cell phones. They didn't yeah. exist No, yet. we remember we had the, the walkie-talkies. We had Motorola two-way pagers. Yeah. And we had the walkie-talkies. So, yeah, okay, so let me catch everybody up. So Laura <laughs> just got engaged with oh, Ben man. Foster. Yes. yes. And I think, I think I should tell you something very interesting. So I woke up. I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't sleep because I was nervous about the storms. And, and so right. I, I went on the news app on my iPad to look for storm coverage. And what pops up is um, why <laughs> Laura Prepon's engagement ring is such a very, very good thing. So I was like, I better click on that. And oh. they were talking about how um, sophisticated and elegant it, it is and that um, the, the, the solitaire uh, diamond circular <laughs> ring <laughs> is... <laughs> Yields, yeah. yields marriages I know that how last, much you hate talking about this. But it makes me so happy. I know. You're having us so giddy right now. Isn't that interesting, it. though? Like, marriages last longer when it's a, a round, solitaire ring. That's amazing. Isn't that I, I, did I did not know, know that. that. That's but, what they um, say. I mean, according to That's what I got from Mila. They, it, was, <laughs> it was written, so it must be true. But yeah, it's amazing. Nice so moving on, we can, yeah. you know, yeah. Anyway, thank moving you everyone on. for the congratulations. Yeah. How did you celebrate? It. Did you do something special? Um, uh, the engagement, you mean? Yeah, like did you? Uh, uh, we're really, you we're really private, so we we kept it kind of like private, as you know, Coach can attest to, because nobody really knew about it. But yeah, and then um, we just kind of came out with it this week. So. Well, congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations! Thank you. We're gonna take a commercial break and talk about your newest role. I'm so excited. Wait to see the film. Did you Thank read the you. book before the script or the script before the book? Well, I had read the book when it first came out um, and I loved it. And then when the script came across my desk, I was filming season four of Orange. Mm. And then um, I went right into this movie the following week. And to go from working with these, these amazing actresses that I get to shoot with on Orange and then go work opposite Emily, I literally had to pinch myself. Like, it was, it was awesome. I, I, yeah. I, I, this, this is the most excited I've been in a long time. It's really a, good. I just saw it for movie. the first time at the premiere on, uh, on Tuesday because I don't really watch a lot of, you know, stuff that I'm in or whatever. But... Um, it was wonderful. It's so good. Yeah. And, All the acting is so good. And it's supposed good. to be like really close to the book, right? Like it is. The, it totally is. And there was a crazy thing I was reading about how the screenwriter took on the book, uh, Mark Platt, like uh, the producer, yeah. like mm -hmm. took on it, and they had the screenwriter write it. And the, the screenplay actually came out the same day that the book got published. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, it was I didn't like, know that. Uh, like, is that true? Yeah. Like That's the, cool. The screenwriter like took it on, started writing it, and had, they published the screenplay the same day that they published the book. But they're really, really close, right? Yeah, we pay, I feel like the homage that we pay the book is is pretty accurate and I feel like we do a really good job and you know I'm used to working on projects that are based on books because you know Orange is the New Black was yeah. a book yeah, sure. right um, but you know as well as I do like with a TV show you, when characters work well together or there's chemistry over here all these storylines splinter off right um, so it was cool to be part of a project that's more kind of in a bubble where it really is accurate to what yeah. happened it's more like a play yeah, yeah it's because totally. you want to stay to the you want to stay to the truth totally and it was awesome I it can't was such I, a, I'm it was I want to get out of here so I can go see it right now. You guys, the girl on the train opens today. Make sure you check out Laura Precon today. I love Tate Taylor. He's a friend. Monday on Live, Zachary Quinto. Welcome to Live TV. Hey. Hey. hey, now that's a 
seen from the ranch, of course, you're not just an actor on the show, you're an executive producer. Yeah. Um, so this is part two of season one. That's right. But everybody can go to Netflix and order yeah, part it's one on. of season it, Yeah, one. you can watch the whole thing. There's like 20 episodes now that are live on Netflix that people can watch. This thing is like a super passion project for me. It's like it's like if a country song became a TV show. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh my gosh. And it's like a lot of the inspiration is drawn out of like the way I grew up, where I come from. And uh, I get to work with Sam Elliott. I get to work right. with Danny Masterson from the 70s show. I mean. I, it's legitimately one of the greatest jobs I've ever had, other than this. And just so you know, they both just recently got engaged. They didn't tell you. I'm just right. <laughs> Nobody tells me anything. I'm the last to know. Yeah. Now listen. Uh, Colby has a surprise for you. What? She's gonna sing her hit song, Bubbly, <laughs> when we come back. I love that song. Florida again. Well, I am definitely not gonna take uh, a meteorologist position here, but uh, <laughs> uh, there are uh, several models, and one of them had, you know, the, the hurricanes move actually pretty slowly as they, as they go up the coast or move through the water. So this one, uh, last I heard, was going about 13, 14 miles an hour. So if it keeps going north, it's still, you know, several hours away from northern Florida and as it moves into Georgia and South Carolina. But there is, uh, there are a couple of models actually that have it whipping around, coming back, hitting the Bahamas again, uh, also hitting uh, landfall in Florida uh, for, uh, but hasn't made landfall yet, but slamming into Florida uh, a second time. They still don't know exactly what this storm is going to do. Matthew has been unpredictable so far and continues to be. Okay, well, thank you so much, Jim Dolan, and uh, stay safe there, Jim, okay? Yeah. Uh, and we hope all the people that are down there are safe and, and, uh, and got out of there. I love Jim Dolan, by the way. Isn't he a solid guy? God, he's so he's such a great reporter. Um, this is the kind of thing, though. They say that um, I was reading this story that women go into labor be sometimes during hurricanes. Like hurricanes will. What is that? Like a tide thing? What is that, Gelman? You're an you're a doctor. <laughs> Stress, maybe. Oh, thank you. Dr. Uh, Gelman says stress. Yeah, it's probably, I always yeah, thought it was like sounds, a title thing. But women go into labor every day all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, like you think about the folks that are down there in that yeah. situation. I mean, things are always happening like that and you, people need support and they need help in whatever situation they're in. No, I'm just thinking about like, I'm afraid to like fly and be away from my wife while she's pregnant. Like, well, you like, can't be too afraid. Here you are. No, but like, <laughs> but we're we're not that close. We're not that close. But like, like you know, I mean, just to be in the middle of that and be like, yeah. oh, look, hey, we're having this wonderful thing happen in our life, except for it's you're underneath that. Yeah. Right. No. As soon as he said they're not taking nine one one calls, I went momentarily into labor, and then I remembered I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but it was like it, it, I had that sort of anxiety of about yeah. thinking about like it's pregnant crazy. ladies in the middle I of got, a storm. I have to say this, uh, this is probably messed up. I was, I, he's got perfect hair for that situation. He does, yeah. Like, I, like right. it might mess up that this is my like weird comedian point of view of this. But I was like thinking if Donald Trump was down there, oh, yeah. that would have been like 10 times more entertaining yeah. just to watch like yeah. what is actually underneath yeah. that thing. Yeah. I, um, it's funny you bring that up. It's funny you bring that up. I don't know if anybody was watching the weather coverage on CNN yesterday. Anybody? Okay. Yes. They have the most gorgeous reporter. I, and forgive me, I don't know her name. She was reporting on the beaches of Florida, and she had the most extraordinary hair, which blew perfectly from Guilford, uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. And, and uh, and yeah, get up. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hello. I love you guys. Hey, we, we love, love you too. Love you. What do you <laughs> hey, uh, is it Andrea or Andrea? Either one, but Andrea is what most people call me. Andrea. Let's go with Andrea then. What do you yeah, go with that? What are you drinking? Because that looks delicious. <laughs> oh, it was a special drink we got. Yeah, we went on a, to our anniversary in the uh, Hyatt in New York, and they gave us that drink while we were waiting to check in. I forgot the name of it. Uh, <gasps> you know what? Those, those check-in drinks are the best. Because oh they, they, they always hit you, like, yeah. sideways. And you get to the room, you're like, yeah, we're yeah, here. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> it was like, second, second <laughs> honeymoon time. But you're, you're a big traveler, right? You had an interesting job? Yeah, I used to be a flight attendant, and uh, we love to travel. And I, 
I even got to go to Cuba when I was a flight attendant and all parts of Europe and the Caribbean. We okay. love it. And he used to fly for free, which was the nicest. That's the move. I was gonna, I was gonna That's ask the move. You it's about like that, that Leo DiCaprio movie yes. where the pilots get to fly anywhere they want to go. Wherever they want. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, can I give a shout out to everybody in Florida? We lived in Boca Raton and Papano Beach for 15 years. Yes. And it's so scary. We I know what it's like. I got up at 3 in the morning to watch the weather. So hopefully they're all safe. We're praying for them. Yeah, We're all yeah. praying for them. Yeah, we yeah. sure are. Now listen, Andrea. Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. 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 I go by both. There's somebody that works here who's named Andrea. So I have systematically changed all of the Andreas in the world <laughs> into Andreas. Andreas. So it I'm sounds right. more European that way. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, did, it sounds better. Did you hear the way I pronounced her last name? Harnady. <laughs> And how do you Carnegie, but that's close yeah. to it. <laughs> okay. Hey. Listen, Andrea Harnady. Carly Wipa here is going to spin a wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> This is a great prize, the Galley Bay Resort and Spa in Antigua. Seven days and six nights in a deluxe beachfront room. That sounds deluxe. Oh, so cute. I'm excited. Listen to this. I mean, it's no Cuba, but. Yeah. No, I'll take it. Listen, it includes all. It's all inclusive. Yes. That means. That's everything. That means you like, you like that robe? Put it in your suitcase. <laughs> and if they don't have one of those drinks when you get to the hotel, I'll send one for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ashton. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,300. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. Okay, thanks. I have the magical question. <laughs> On yesterday's show, what did Kelly say is the animal... On the jar of mustard that she... Shows, I feel right? like it's my line. This is your... Sarah Paulson is here. Sarah, Sarah Paulson, Paulson, who I have a connection with. Yes, you have a connection with. Um, and now, there's a newcomer on the scene you may have heard of. Her name is Laura, Laura Prepon. Laura Prepon? Yeah. Here. I call her Pre. Pre? You call her Pre. And I'm very upset with her right now, so Why? I'm happy to see... Why are you upset with her? She just announced this engagement. I had to find out in the news, and she's my friend. And it's like, it's weird like that. Yeah. It's like, and by the way, it's not just a random engagement. It's an engagement to another friend of mine. Oh, oh are you So that I'm double upset that neither of them told me. And I, had, yeah. I got off the plane in New York and they're like, what? What? And it's weird too, Be because it's a homie that Mila and I and Laura, and we all used to hang out 20 years ago. And when Mila and I got engaged, Pre was like, what? This is crazy. You guys, it was like 20 years ago and you were friends and no one saw this coming and now you're engaged and I have to find out this way. They were friends 20 years oh. ago. They're all my friends and everybody's hooking up and it's weird. <laughs> I sure do like her fiance. He's great. He's a great actor. He's a good I saw dude. him. I saw him on Broadway, and I was like blown away by him. He's a solid chap. Solid chap. Okay, good. Because I like my prepon being taken care of by a solid chap. Me too. We also have a performance by Kobe Calais. Do you have a connection to Kobe Calais? I have a connection to Colby Calais in so much as Bubbly is on my Chillax playlist. Oh, okay, I like that. Because it starts in yeah. your nose and goes to your toes. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's so. That's a good Chillax song. It's really Chillax. Um. Anyway, this is an all Ashton Kutcher sh uh, show, like and we're going to talk about your Netflix series as well. Yes. Whether you, like, whether you like it or not, we're, we're going to talk about, about the it. Rant. Okay. Good. Okay. And it's time for, oh wait, turn on your um, yeah, this, lightsaber. Yeah, wait, hold on, show me the, okay, yeah. got, ready? Yeah. yeah, it's time for takeoff travel trivia. <laughs> Uh, I mean, kind of you really, wow. when you uh, pop off, you pop off, babe. <laughs> oh, looky there, he doesn't have a... Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, uh, let's acknowledge Your our trivia Your Swartz dancer. is bigger than my Swartz. 
I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Uh, that's Haley Miller from Monroe Township, New Jersey. And he's like, pray. That's amazing. This is deep. This is really, really deep. No, dude, so, no, no. It's true. The amount of crap that you gave Mila and I. I know. Like, dude. oh, yeah, 20 years, friends, <laughs> yeah, nothing going on, and then suddenly, but, uh, and you and Ben Foster? I We've know. We've known dude. each other all together just as long. I know. It, it is true. We've known each other for what, like 20 years, you said, right? Yeah, like 20 years, 20 years. Like 19 years. Because we, we all started hanging out in 1998. So almost, yeah, and every Friday, oh, oh my every God. Friday after our taping, all of our friends would come hang out and whatever, and he was, he was there. Okay. There's the little girls in the audience that are like, what's 1998? I know. <laughs> it was the 1900s. It was yeah. so fun. Exactly. It was like, we had horses and carriages. Everything was incredible. No then. cell phones. No cell phones. They didn't yeah. exist No, we yet. remember we had the, the walkie-talkies. We had Motorola two-way pagers. Yeah, and we had the walkie-talkies. So, yeah, okay, so let me catch everybody up. So Laura <laughs> just got engaged with oh, Ben man. Foster. Yes. yes, and I think I think I should tell you something very interesting. So I woke up, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I couldn't sleep because I was nervous about the storms. And and so right. I, I went on the news app on my iPad to look for storm coverage. And what pops up is. Um, why Laura Prepon's engagement ring is such a very, very good thing. So I was like, I better click on that. And oh. they were talking about how um, sophisticated and elegant it, it is, and that um, the, the, the solitaire a diamond circular <laughs> ring <laughs> is... Yields, yeah. yields marriages I know that how last, much you hate talking about this. Which makes me so happy. I know. You're over there so giddy right now. Isn't that interesting, it. though? Like, marriages last longer when it's a, a round, solitaire ring. That's amazing. That I, I, did I did not, not know, know that. that. That's but, what they um, say. I mean, according to the That's what I got for Mila. They, <laughs> it, was, it was written, so it must be true. But yeah, it's amazing. Must be true. So moving on. We can, yeah. you know, yeah, anyway. Moving. Thank you, everyone, for the congratulations. Yeah. How did you celebrate? Did you do something special? Um, uh, the engagement, you mean? Yeah, like, did you... Uh, uh, we're, really, you we're really private, so we, we kept it kind of, like, private, as, you know, Coach can attest to, because nobody really knew about it, but yeah. And then um, we just kind of came out with it this week. So. Well, congratulations. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to take a commercial break and talk about your newest role. I'm so excited about the girl on the train. We'll go three times. wait to see the film. Did you Thank read the you. book before the script or the script before the book? Well, I had read the book when it first came out um, and I loved it. And then when the script came across my desk, I was filming season four of Orange. Mm. And then um, I went right into this movie the following week. And to go from working with these, these amazing actresses that I get to shoot with on Orange and then go work opposite <laughs> Rambo Kutcher. <laughs> That's the baby's name. She just... <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. But That's did, it. Wait, did you hear it? I mean, did, did I, anybody hear it? Were your hearts flittering? I don't know. No, but I hope they didn't hear that. I hope no, they didn't no hear it. Well, you're mic. You killed the mics? Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, my yeah. God. I thought it was over. That would have been like, I would have gotten murdered. The wife the would have, like, taken me out. That's I would have gotten home. That's the real name? That's the name. That's a good name. That's it. That's, That's a is. really good name. <laughs> now we know and you don't. You know what it is? <laughs> it sounds, it sounds like, it sounds... You know, yeah. it sounds established. Yeah. That's yeah. a, it's almost like yeah. a grown-up. So, so we practice and we do yeah. like president, da 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 da. Yeah, yes. Doctor, da 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 da. Right. Football star, da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, da 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 da. That's my my husband used to do this all the time. Now batting, batting, batting. Number eight, eight, eight. Fucking king, king. That's king. it. That's it. Suelos, suelos, suelos. Yeah. That's how we And that's how you do it. Yeah. I get I had a thing, I, I do a thing, Mila calls it name Tourette's. Yeah. Because when we get in the naming process, she hates every name I come up with. Yeah. And so I just start like rattling off like anything I see. I'm like truck, camera kutcher. Right. You know, like lights kutcher, la luz. Like I'll go yeah. multiple languages. Yeah. And she hates it, but eventually both times I've landed on the name with name Tourette's. That's it. Well, you know what? We, it's working. We for say you. we say get your umbrellas out. 
because we're about to have a brainstorm. Uh. And, and then, and so that means you can't make fun of what I'm about to say because we're just throwing out ideas. I wanna be in your house when the brainstorms happen. Yeah. And this is a terrible segue, but <laughs> speaking of storms, there is a horrible storm hitting Florida right now. Yes. And we have our very own Jim Dolan, uh, who is in Daytona Beach, Florida right, right now. And uh, let's throw to him and uh, check in. Jim, uh, how far are you from the eye of the storm. Well, still a little bit uh, south of us, uh, Kelly, but uh, we know that where it is, it has already uh, brought 100 mile an hour winds, for example, to Cape Canaveral. Uh, it is getting closer here. In fact, just a few minutes ago, just before we came on, I spoke with the uh, fire chief, uh, the police chief here. He said for the next four hours, they are not answering any 911 calls. You know that this area has been under mandatory evacuation now uh, for a full day. They told folks to get out of here. Those who didn't, those who didn't listen to those warnings and are in their homes, for the next four hours are on their own. The uh, uh, fire department, the police department, they can't risk the lives of their own members to go in and, and rescue folks. So for the next four hours during the muscle of this storm folks who decided to stay are kind of on their own the wind you can look back here the wind is really picking up now uh we, we i don't know how limited communication to people <laughs> <laughs> I, wait time out i love the fact she's like kutch and he's like pray that's amazing this is deep this is really really deep no, so, dude, no, no the amount of crap that you gave Mila and I. I know. Like, you. oh, yeah, 20 years, friends, <laughs> yeah, nothing going on, and then suddenly, but, uh, and you and Ben Foster? I We've know. We've known each other all together just as long. I know. It, it is true. We've known each other for, what, like 20 years, you said, right? Yeah, like 20 years, 20 years, like 19 years. Because we, we all started hanging out in 1998. So almost, yeah, and every Friday, oh, oh my every God. Friday after our taping, all of our friends would come hang out and whatever, and he was, he was there. Okay. There's a little girls in the audience that are like, what's 1998? I know. <laughs> it was the 1900s. It was yeah. so fun. Exactly. It was like, we had horses and carriages. Everything was incredible. No then. cell phones. No cell phones. They didn't yeah. exist No, we remember we had the, the walkie-talkies. We had Motorola two-way pagers. Yeah, and we had the walkie-talkies. So, yeah, okay, so let me catch everybody up. So Laura <laughs> just got engaged with oh, Ben man. Foster. Yes. yes, and I think, I think I should tell you something very interesting. So I woke up, I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't sleep because I was nervous about the storms. And, and so right. I, I went on the news app on my iPad to look for storm coverage. And what pops up is um, why <laughs> Laura Prepon's engagement ring is such a very, very good thing. So I was like, I better click on that. And oh. they were talking about how um, sophisticated and elegant it, it is. And that um, the, the, the solitaire uh, diamond circular <laughs> ring <laughs> is... A, <laughs> Yields, yeah. yields marriages I know that how last, much you hate talking about this. Well, it makes yields, me so happy. I know. You're over there so giddy right now. Isn't that interesting, it. though? Like, marriages last longer when it's a, a round, solitaire ring. That's amazing. That I, I, did I did not know, know that. that. That's but, what they um, say. I mean, according to the That's what I got from Mila. They, it, was, <laughs> it was written, so it must be true. But yeah, it's nice. So true. moving on, we can, yeah. you know, yeah. Anyway, thank moving you everyone on. for the congratulations. Yeah. How did you celebrate? It. Did you do something special? Um, uh, the engagement, you mean? Yeah, like did you? Uh, uh, we're you really, we're really private, so we we kept it kind of like private, as you know, Coach can attest to, because nobody really knew about it. But yeah, and then um, we just kind of came out with it this week. So. Well, congratulations! Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. to see the film. Did you Thank read the you. book before the script or the script before the book? Well, I had read the book when it first came out um, and I loved it. And then when the script came across my desk, I was filming season four of Orange. Mm. And then um, I went right into this movie the following week. And to go from working... Mm, Rambo! <laughs> Rambo Kutcher! <laughs> That's the baby's name. She just... <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. But That's did, it. wait, did you hear it? I mean, did did I, anybody your hear? Heart it? Slittering? I don't know. No, but I, didn't hear that at I hope they no, didn't hear no it. No way, people heard well, that. Well, you're mic'd. You killed the mics. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh my yeah. God! I thought it was over. 
That would have been like, I would have gotten murdered. The wife would have like taken me out. I would have gotten home. That's the real name? That's the name. That's a good name. That's it. That's a really good name. Now we know and you don't. You know what it is? It sounds, it sounds like, it sounds, you know, yeah. it sounds established. Yeah. That's yeah. a, it's almost like yeah. a grown so, up. So we practice and we do yeah. like president, da 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 da. Yeah, yes. Doctor, da 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 da. Right. Football star, da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, da 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 da. That's my, my husband used to do this all the time. Now batting, batting, batting. Number eight, eight, eight. Our king, king, that's king. That's it, that's it. Suelos, suelos, suelos. Yeah. And that's how we And that's how you do it. Yeah. I get I had a thing, I, I do a thing, Mila calls it name Tourette's. Yeah. Because when we get in the naming process, she hates every name I come up with. Yeah. And so I just start like rattling off like anything I see. I'm like truck, camera kutcher. Right. You know, like lights kutcher, la luz. Like I'll go yeah. multiple languages. Yeah. And she hates it, but eventually both times I've landed on the name with name Tourette's. That's a but well, you know what? We, it's working. We for say you. we say get your umbrellas out. Because we're about to have a brainstorm. Uh. And, and then, and so that means you can't make fun of what I'm about to say because we're just throwing out ideas. I want to be in your house when the brainstorms happen. Yeah. And this is a terrible segue, but <laughs> speaking of storms, there is a horrible storm hitting Florida right now. Yes. And we have our very own Jim Dolan, uh, who is in Daytona Beach, Florida right, right now. And uh, let's throw to him and uh, check in. Jim, uh, how far are you from the eye of the storm? Well, still a little bit uh, south of us, uh, Kelly, but uh, we know that where it is, it has already uh, brought 100 mile an hour winds, for example, to Cape Canaveral. Uh, it is getting closer here. In fact, just a few minutes ago, just before we came on, I spoke with the uh, fire chief, uh, the police chief here. He said for the next four hours, they are not answering any 911 calls. You know that this area has been under mandatory evacuation now uh, for a full day. They told folks to get out of here. Those who didn't, those who didn't listen to those warnings and are in their homes, for the next four hours are on their own. The uh, uh, fire department, the police department, they can't risk the lives of their own members to go in and, and rescue folks. So for the next four hours during the muscle of this storm folks who decided to stay are kind of on their own the wind you can look back here the wind is really picking you know, up yeah anyway thank mm -hmm. you everyone for the congratulations yeah. how did you celebrate it. did you do something special um uh, the engagement you mean yeah like did you uh, uh we're really you... we're really private so we we kept it kind of like private as you know coach can attest to because nobody really knew about it but yeah and then um we just kind of came out with it this week well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to take a commercial break and talk about your newest role. I'm so excited about the girl on the train. We'll go to three times. wait to see the film. Did you Thank read the you. book for the script or the script before the book? Well, I had read the book when it first came out um, and I loved it. And then when the script came across my desk, I was filming season four of Orange. Mm. And then um, I went right into this movie the following week. And to go from working with these, these amazing actresses that I get to shoot with on Orange and then go work opposite Emily, I literally had to pinch myself. Like it was, it was awesome. I, I, yeah. I, I, this, this is the most excited I've been in a long time. It's really movie, good. I just saw it for the first time at the premiere on, uh, on Tuesday. Cause I don't really watch a lot of, you know, and stuff that I'm in or whatever, but um, it was wonderful. It's so good. Yeah. And, All the acting is so And it's so supposed good. to be like really close to the book, right? Like it is. The, it totally is. And there was a crazy thing I was reading about how the screenwriter took on the book, uh, Mark Platt, like uh, the producer, yeah. like mm -hmm. took on it, and they had the screenwriter write it. And the, the screenplay actually came out the same day that the book got published. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, it was I like, didn't know that. Uh, like, is that true? Yeah. Like That's the, cool. The screenwriter like took it on, started writing it, and had, they published the screenplay the same day that they published the book. But they're really, really close, right? Yeah, we pay, I feel like the homage that we pay the book is is pretty accurate and I feel like we do a really good job and you know I'm used to working on projects that are based on books because you know Orange is the New Black was yeah. a book yeah, sure. right um, but you know as well as I do like with a TV show you, when characters work well together or there's chemistry over here all these storylines splinter off right um, so it was cool to be part of a project that's more kind of in a bubble where it really is accurate to what yeah. happened it's more like a play yeah, yeah it's because totally. you want to stay to the you want to stay to the truth totally and it was awesome I it was can't such a, I'm it was I want to get out of here so I can go see it right now. Sure you check out Laura Prepon today.
I love Tay Taylor. He's a friend. Monday on Live, Zachary Quinto. Of course, you're not just an actor on the show, you're an executive producer. Yeah. Um, so this is part two of season one. That's right. But everybody can go to Netflix and order yeah, part it's one on. of season one. Yeah, you can watch the whole thing. There's like 20 episodes now that are live on Netflix that people can watch. This thing is like a super passion project for me. It's like it's like if a country song became a TV